good evening. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you got something out of last week when uh, Eric was here with me. And uh, we called that, you know, springtime with uh, and the turtles. So giving you a little bit of information about them. Well, this will be the second week and uh, decided to make it a two week thing and give you a little bit more information on about turtles. And so I don't miss anything. You know, I'm getting old. I decided that uh, the best way to do it was to have some note cards here. So bear with me. And I hope you get something out of this and some enjoyment too, besides learning something. You know, we got to take care of uh, our relatives, those turtles. I learned something and a little more research. And that was about, uh, there was a study done, St. Louis, and uh, it was around the box turtle project. And uh, I guess they tagged these turtle shells, put a little thing on there so they could uh, track them, and did a study on them and found out that, you know, the range, as we said last week, uh, is very small. Uh, they don't migrate. So uh, that was kind of an interesting deal that I learned and, you know, studying of turtles. So, uh, you know, the, the turtle is a sacred creature among the Native American tribes. And it's, you know, little differences here and there between them and how they look at that. But the basics, the basis of it are all the same. And... Uh, The meaning, you know, it goes deeper than just, oh, it's a turtle or it's a tortoise. How about that? Do you know the difference? So, it uh, represents tortoise, turtle. Again, we'll get you some more information here. But are you calling it by the right name? But either way, they do both represent a connection or the Mother Earth. Um, there are stories about how the turtle went down and uh, brought up mud on its back and started the formation of what we call this continent, Turtle Island. Uh, there's another one that, uh, a muskrat went down and got, the, uh, mud and placed it, didn't know where to place it. And the turtle says, I got an idea, place it on my back. Again, referring to this continent, Turtle Island. But there's many, many, many stories. Something you should look into if you're interested in turtles and tortoises. We are blessed by the turtle and tortoise in just unbelievably so many ways. You think, oh, it's just a turtle. And there's people out there that go out of the way to run over them when they're trying to cross the road, doing their migration back and forth just across that road. Because they did that before that road was put there. So that's the normal pathway. Don't hit them. And if you can safely, Help them out of the road, as we said last week. But don't take them back where they came from because they're still going to then try to cross again. Don't take them home. We spoke about last week. Both have, uh, you know, long lifespans. Both lay eggs. Both are slow-moving, turtles and tortoises. And they also have shells for their protection. Again, representing that our Mother Earth, the curvature and through the, uh, you know, the curvature of some of their shells. Now, tortoises, let's get to that. They have a uh, saddleback or rounded shells. 
Uh, they live solely on land. And uh, in warm climates, spend most of their time underground during the warmer times of the day. I didn't know that. I figured they were just daylight, man. They're all up and around. Uh, they will lay their eggs in a nest. Also, tortoises have feet with claws to dig in that dirt with no webbing between them, their toes. And plants make up their diets. They're not a meat eater. Plant eaters. Tortoises live in, you know, that one area for their entire life, as we have spoken about. And as mentioned already, they do not migrate. On the other hand, turtles have semi-flat shells and make their homes in oceans and rivers, lakes. Uh, they lay their eggs, though, on land, not in the water. Feet, you know, uh, the feet of a turtle differ from that of the tortoises because they have the little webbing in there to help them to swim. Turtles eat bugs and plants and migrate with the seasons. How about that? Now then we have the actual box turtle that we see crossing the road a lot. Other turtles we see doing the same, but we see that nice little helmet shape kind of even uh, box turtle that crossing that road. You know, the box turtles have been found in America archaeological uh, sites as far back as the uh, a period of 8,000-1,000 B.C. I didn't know that span of time in there. And, of course, uh, indigenous Native American people used the box turtles uh, for many different things. They eat turtles, but not the box turtle. In fact, I even read that the box turtle is actually could be poisonous. So it has a protection against humans. The uh, uh, box shell turtle, though, you know, is used in a lot of different types of ceremonies. Again, depending across the tribes, but there still are some basic things there. Like making a rattle out of them. Uh, there's a thing called a stomp dance. Uh, used to, and I guess that some people, some still are doing this, using a small box turtle shell, and there's multiples of them uh, that are laced and tied together that are filled with uh, pebbles uh, to do a stomp dance, and that is the rhythm that uh, in the dance, not a drum is used, but those shaking. But in modern times, uh, helping out the turtle population, those shells are not being used. They've gone to um, metal cans, salt and pepper. The uh, metal salt and pepper shakers are used and laced and all together. And they're also a louder, somewhat louder sound. Tinny, of course, because it is metal. But uh, helps out the not taking away from the turtle population. Um, and just to mention a few of the tribes, you know, that goes uh, practices of, of the rattles and uh, the shakers, you know, that goes across the the Chickasaw, the Choctaw, the Cherokee, uh, the Shawnee, uh, the Muscogee, and the Seminoles. Another thing about that rattle, you can kind of compare that to the uh, heartbeat of Mother Earth, the shake, 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 shaken. So there is a there's a strong tie there, a very strong tie. And as I mentioned at the end of last week, the idea that uh, the turtle is very close to the ground and moves very slowly, as we know. So that is a reminder about staying well grounded 
and it only pushes down basically one blade of grass at a time. So that is a good sign, a good message for us to slow our lives back down. Uh, we're getting faster and faster every day, and uh, we need to reverse that. Think of that turtle. One blade of grass at a time, one thing at a time. Slow down. Smell the roses. See what's going on around you. Look at the beauty that uh, is before us. And I mentioned already that the uh, turtle, you know, tortoises both, are very sacred to the indigenous Native American people. And that's all through our mythological and legends and, and stories and myths. And it shows up everywhere. Uh, they are very, very important to us. So, I mentioned the idea that, uh, you know, they eat turtle meat. And uh, other nationalities do that too, besides the indigenous Native American people. But I remember I mentioned already, yeah, don't eat the box turtle. Uh, read that it is actually poisonous. So there's some protection again I've mentioned about protecting that turtle. The uh, symbology and belief, uh, you know, is immersed, embedded extremely strongly through the Native American cultures. And it should be a good lesson to other cultures to think more about that turtle and how important it is around all of our lives. Remember, you know, the turtle, the, the lions, the tigers, the, everything in the water, everything that flies was here before us. And there's a lot of lessons through all of that. But we're talking about turtles. Something I didn't get to last week, and it was mentioned to, to bring it up. And uh, it's about the, uh, the uh, rectangular the uh, shapes, each piece that's on the shell. And here's where also in our society of the world is out of balance. And, you know, we have 12 months. Well, there's where we're out of balance. Because there are actually, uh, the moon has 13 cycles. phases that it goes through. So the 13 is really what we should be working by, but the way our society is set up of the world doesn't work that way. We work on the 12. But there are 13 of those shapes within the back of the turtle to teach us and connect with the moon besides our Mother Earth. So, surrounding those 13 of the moon cycle is 28 squares or rectangular shapes, which represents the 20 days of each lunar month. So again, this is, this is nature. This is telling us this is how we should even function. And again, we don't. We work under the 12. And then our months are different numbers of how many days in the month to try to balance that stuff out. But it doesn't work. In the Lakota ways, um, I don't know if it's still being done, but in the old ways days, the uh, Lakotas would use that turtle shell and make a bag 
and would put the babies, uh, uh, the uh, umbilical cord, pardon me, uh, that comes off into that and seal that up and stays with that child as they grow up through life. So that, you know, that's, uh, I'd forgotten about that. Uh, I know I'd read it a long time ago, but I had forgotten it. So it's a little tidbit there of another use for the turtle shell. And some more other specifics is the idea that the turtle, again, that we're talking about, it represents healing, represents wisdom, spirituality, health, safety, longevity, and protection, and fertility. So there might be some things in there that you didn't think about about the turtle. Give it a little more thought. And then around that comes for those things that it that I just mentioned, you know, because of how it, I kind of mentioned, brought this continent into its life through myths or stories, however you want to label that. But I kind of think here two two good points to think about on that turtle, that turtle in its shell is the uh it's protection you know it's a hard shell yeah a car can run over it or you can stomp your foot on it i mean let's get real about that but for what it has within its realm it's very well protected and it can close up inside that shell for its protection it carries its home on its back or around its life so there's a, a uh, perseverance there. Uh, you know, the uh, tortoise can live like up to 150 years in age. Pretty long time. Pretty long time. So that's how it represents a long life and a strong life. I'm going to give you something here to, to maybe try out. You know, it helps keep us young uh, by thinking young, not thinking old. So think of a child when you, when you were a child or children. Today, I know everybody's into the games on their telephones or iPads. But in my time, I know I'm old, but used cardboard boxes, got blankets, got sheets, made tents in the basement, in the bedroom, over the bed, outside. So here's a little project. Think with a child's mind, slow down. How about building that tent? Okay, maybe you don't want to go that far. How about going camping and setting up a tent that you bought? Either way, or just a tarp stretched out between the trees. Take your Crayolas with you, a box of Crayolas. Maybe have that little campfire in the evening. But escape from the everyday Bills, your job, uh, price of gasoline. <laughs> Think of that turtle. Get yourself down on the ground, not at a table and chairs. Take those Crayolas and just, you don't have to be an artist. Just take what's ever in your mind. Do some drawing. 
sketching, scribbling. Ground yourself as the turtle is, close to the ground. Slow your life down. Who knows? Maybe one of those tortoises or turtles will visit you. Hope you learned a little something. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to have, uh, with the, after the credits, give you a website. And I'm going to have it run for a while so you can write it down. And go explore the tales, the stories, the myths um, around the turtle and the native ways. And do it with an open mind, open heart. And ground yourself as the turtle and pass one blade of grass at a time. Thank you for your time. Hope you're safe. Hope you're healthy. And if you have not got your vaccines, please get them done. It's a protection of you. And there's a worse strand coming. Worse strand coming. I believe both are signs, whether it's man created, nature created, doesn't matter where it came from. It's telling us humans, you better get it together because I can survive without you and the animals can too. Thank you again. Hope to see you next week. Don't know what's coming. Oh, Eric, real quick. Eric will be all week, maybe a couple weeks, home on the weekends, involved down in Oklahoma with the Killers of, uh, of the Flower Moon movie. Uh, he doesn't know what he's doing, but it's where he's going to be. That's why he's not here for this. Again, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Maybe Eric will be here, and he might not. Who knows? Take care.